Hello and welcome to today's video on ant habitats. Let's start the video. Ants are fascinating creatures that form complex societies with intricate habitat systems. Their habitats, commonly known as ant colonies, are meticulously structured to meet the various needs of the colony, including shelter, food storage, nurseries, and waste management. Let's explore the components and functions of an ant habitat in more detail. But before it, if you are new to this channel then please subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Entrance The entrance serves as the gateway to the ant colony. It allows ants to enter and exit the habitat while regulating the colony's airflow and temperature. Nest Chambers Ants create nest chambers within their habitat for different purposes. These chambers are typically located underground, in decaying wood, or within the crevices of rocks. The nest chambers offer protection from predators, temperature extremes, and desiccation. The number and size of the chambers vary depending on the ant species and the size of the colony. Tunnels and galleries. Ants construct tunnels and galleries connecting various parts of their habitat. These pathways serve as transportation routes for foraging ants, allowing them to efficiently move between the nest and food sources. The tunnels also facilitate ventilation and help maintain suitable humidity levels within the colony. Brood Chambers Ant colonies consist of different castes, including the queen, workers, and larvae. Brood chambers are designated areas within the habitat where the queen lays her eggs and where the larvae and pupae are nurtured. These chambers provide a controlled environment with optimal temperature and humidity to support the growth and development of the brood. Food storage areas. Ants are known for their sophisticated food storage strategies. Some ant species create specialized chambers or cells within their habitat to store food resources, such as seeds, nectar, or insect prey. These food storage areas help sustain the colony during periods of scarcity or when food sources are distant. Waste management. Ants are meticulous in maintaining cleanliness within their colonies. They designate specific areas for waste disposal, known as refuse chambers or middens. In these chambers, dead ants, discarded materials, and other waste products are deposited preventing contamination and disease spread within the habitat. Communication infrastructure. Ants rely heavily on chemical communication using pheromones. They create scent trails along the tunnels and galleries to guide other. Ants to food sources or important locations within their habitat. These trails help coordinate collective tasks and ensure efficient resource allocation within the colony. External structures. Some ant species build additional external structures that enhance their habitat. For example, leaf cutter ants construct large leaf cutting nests above the ground using vegetation to farm fungus for food. These structures can be massive and have specialized chambers for cultivating fungal gardens. Overall, habitats are complex and highly organized systems that cater to the various needs of the colony. The architecture of the habitat is shaped by the specific requirements of the ant species, environmental factors, and the colony's size. Studying ant habitats provides valuable insights into social behavior, ecology, and adaptations of these remarkable insects. I hope so now you will understand about ant habitats. If you want to watch a playlist on ants' evolution, you can press the above card. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my content press the like button. And subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.